Okay. So yeah, um, this is my second stream on this Sunday, the, what date is it? The 6th of, no 6th of December. <laughs> um, yeah, so I did my first stream on Friday night. That was quite fun. So thought I would do another one tonight, just continuing on with the same image. Uh, so it's pr sketch is pretty much finished now. So I mean, I could add more detail, but there's probably no point really doing that because I can just add that to the inks. So I'm gonna just work as with this as the background sketch, and then put some out some clean lines on another layer. Um, we'll see how far I get with it. I'll probably stream for about an hour, two hours again, like last time. And we'll see how it goes. So, <clears throat> uh, just get this working. The mouse isn't working for some reason. Ah, oh, damn! Hang on. Okay, should have checked this before I started streaming, but it's not letting me do anything currently. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty annoying. Damn. Um, I'll try Clip Studio. Okay, I'm gonna qu quit this stream and do another one that first time. I think because I tried to do a restart earlier and uh, cancelled it halfway through and my drivers, I think, weren't working. So <laughs> the pen wasn't working, which is not very useful. So yeah, like I said, um, this is my second drawing. Um, I did one on Friday night where I was just working on this this drawing, this sketch, and tonight I'm gonna, well I'm pretty sure I've done as much detail as I kind of can at this point, so I'm gonna just start inking it, clean it up a little bit, and I'd say I'll probably stream for maybe an hour or two hours, and we'll see how far I get with it. And the background music is from a channel called Jim TV, which is really good. So I recommend. Alrighty, let's get started. It wants to work this time. Yeah, just play about with some brushes here. Not sure exactly if I want this to look smooth or a bit messy, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. I don't want to be too meticulous about it because I want to try and get it finished in the next couple of days. It's always easy to 
go over lines again and again until they're perfect, but I'm gonna try not to do that. <laughs> I'm trying to not breathe loudly into the microphone this time as well, because last time I think I was doing that. So yeah, actually I'm going to just do one thing. So this is the sketch I was working on. And it's basically a commission. And the client wanted me to draw something similar to this animation that I made. So I'm just going to keep this on screen so I can s just kind of get a kind of similar line quality. Not too similar, it doesn't have to be exact, but just to keep it there and keep it in mind. just realized as well that I forgot to change the title of this stream so this is my second stream not my first stream which it says on all my social media now. <laughs> uh, still getting used to this stuff. Difficult to get everything right. if I can change the title retroactively. It doesn't have a title from in OBS. There is no title, so I don't know why it's showing the old one. Ah, oh, I, I think I can update it actually. Let me just try that. Hopefully that worked. You should see the right title now. Yeah, it can be a bit hard to know like how thick to make lines when you first start inking something. I guess a good rule of thumb is to just keep them not overly thick at first, and then you can kind of go back over it and thicken them up if you need to. But I don't want to make them too thin either. So you can't really see what's going on. I'll get into the flow of it as I as I go along here. I do a lot of erasing and redrawing to be honest. <laughs> get things looking better as I go along.
almost start with the face, which maybe isn't the best thing to do. So I feel like it gets better as you go along and you want the face to be like the strongest part. So maybe I shouldn't start with the face, but I don't know. I guess like it's kind of the, one of the main focal points. So I always start there. I think I chose more appropriate music appropriate music for tonight as well. This looks so different from this sketch. Sometimes, sometimes I don't like <laughs> the way it looks in comparison, to be honest. lips right now. But yeah, you gotta worry about the details later as always. Gonna just get the shape down and then I kinda worry about that. Now boss just said I can put the music a bit lighter. Okay, I'll try that. So when you start inking these things you realize like <sighs> how difficult it is to get things to look good. <laughs> I think a sketch is um, often an illusion of things looking good and then when you go in with this fine brush it's like it's difficult to get the shapes looking right. The, the line weight, as I was saying, is a really hard thing. And then you don't know what the whole thing is going to look like until you've finished, <laughs> or until you've done like the whole outline. Oh, we got Chivan in the chat again. Hey. Um, we also have Zed Comics. We got Phil from Zed Comics here. Thanks for joining guys.
Oh yeah, Phil says he got to put the link to your book in the description. I will do that. Like, I'm using Restream, so I'm not sure how to do that before I go live. Let me see if I can just do that now as it's streaming. I'm not sure why that works. Let me try and do it. Need to get like an assistant to <laughs> should get Vossa to do this. <laughs> okay, hang on. Uh, let me just try and put it in. should be there now. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> oh, Vosta says if I watch enough of these streams I'll probably learn how to draw myself. You can already draw. It's just, uh, yeah, you just need to refine it. <laughs> He draws interesting monsters and things. So she says in the chat, maybe you checked my first stillborn attempts to draw. <laughs> um, yeah, I did. I, I checked your YouTube. Um, I saw your witch drawing. I thought it was cool. I, I like your use of color. Um, I didn't find you on DeviantArt because I, I might have searched for the wrong name or something, but I haven't used DeviantArt in a while anyway, and the whole interface has changed since last time I was on there. Um, but yeah, I liked it. I think you should definitely keep practicing and like keep it up for sure. You can do some cool things. says is this going to be a splash page uh it's no it's not for the comic actually it's a commission it's an album cover for someone um yeah i'm trying not to take on extra work at the minute but i i told my friend that i would do this so <laughs> yeah um so yeah this is going to be on like a synthwave album cover
keep checking these line widths, man, because sometimes I do too much detail, and then when you zoom out, you can't even see it. Better to keep it like this as I'm drawing. I'll see how far I get with this tonight. I would like to actually try and finish it on this stream, but God, apparently, wait, how long have I been streaming for? Hasn't been an hour, has it? Okay, <laughs> we'll see how far I get with it. It would be cool to try and finish in one stream, so then we could see like the whole thing from start to finish, but I'm not sure if I'll get that far. I drew this, or I made this animation, a coloured one here, like three years ago, and the client wanted me to make something similar to this. I'm just trying to remember, like, how I inked this. I think I inked it in a different software. So this is probably going to end up looking pretty different, because it was a while ago that I even did this, and I haven't really done detail in, like, mid uh, all the kind of mechanical pieces in a while. But we'll see if I can get it to look somewhat similar. Zed Comic says, excited for Fausto to do his comic album. It would be awesome to have all the characters from those comics on one album cover. It would be fun. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I thought that would be really cool. I would maybe try and do like a medley piece with like draw all the characters in my style. Um, it just depends like if I have time to do that. Maybe instead I could just collect different images of the characters and kind of put them all together but we'll see what happens like I don't know when that's even going to be released or if it will be released at this point because I think we're still gonna we still need to ask people like if it's okay to use the tracks and stuff um but it would be really cool I really want to see all those characters together
the comic says it would be sweet to have them all drawn in a synthy style, you guys would definitely be able to use our characters. Yeah, it would be cool. I think I'd have really a lot of fun actually trying to draw all the different characters. Um, so hopefully I will have time to do that at some point. Like, I would like that. Bosto says I have to make it happen then. A surprise for the new year. What to call the album though? This is the thing, we're trying to think of a good name for it and I haven't thought of anything yet. So ideas for that would be good. <laughs> Comic book power machine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's hard to think of album names. I know I've never been good at song title names. comic book power machine. Yeah, it, I mean, it's a bit epic sounding. But I think I think you can come up with something better than that, though. Something with ink in the title, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Synth ink. Ink synth. <laughs> mm. Synthet ink? Synthet ink? <laughs> Does that work? machine. <laughs> okay, sometimes when I'm doing these wires I kind of get annoyed with how difficult it is to draw both sides. And I do the lazy thing and just duplicate. It's, uh, it's faster than trying to draw it to be honest the limitations of digital art. Like if I was working on paper it would be easier to get like much more control. But I have chosen to go digital. We got short wire in the chat. It says, hey MA, awesome work. Thank you. <laughs> yes, this is a uh, for you. <laughs> Sorry I forgot to like send you the link actually for the stream on Friday. It's trying to get used to just doing a live stream and all the technical stuff. So it's uh trying to do like multiple things at once.
so I feel like I should be listening to Synthwave while drawing this. <laughs> um, but I don't know, I really like this deep dubstep stuff when I'm drawing because it's a bit more relaxed and kind of meditative or something. I, I can get into the flow a bit better with this type of music. Vosto says, deep, stubs, deep dubstep is the best thing. Yeah, it's cool. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like tribal, deep meditation music or something. It's like you should be listening to it in a forest. Listened to it in a forest before. It was pretty good <laughs> at a festival. Nice to actually be like outside and listening to this kind of stuff on a really good sound system. It's like the best thing. Is this one of your songs, Fosto? <laughs> In this mix? How did you, all your music manage to get into like every mix? <laughs> I think this mix is. It's, um. It's from when Jim TV was on Night Ride, on, or in Rec Network actually. So he must have added one of your tracks to this mix. And somehow it fits with the deep dubstep, even though it's technically not deep dubstep at all. <laughs> Phil's asking if I call it Vosto Vosto uh, daily. Like, no, I call him Vlad usually, but just uh, just for purposes of the stream I'm just gonna refer to him as Vosto so people know that I'm talking to him <laughs>
<laughs> Bill's asking if uh, Vlad is, in fact, Vlad's, well, Vosto's real name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he is, uh, he is a Romanian stereotype. Basically Dracula at this point. It's called Vlad. He likes to stay up late. He's got, like, long vampire hair. But he doesn't like this stereotype because Dracula is not even a Romanian myth. It's just some bullshit created by uh, an Irish guy. Am I allowed to swear on the stream or does that like tell the al algorithm that I'm bad? <laughs> I don't even know how that works. to make this look like this other piece but it's not quite the same. Okay good because I like swear quite a lot so it's pr I'm probably gonna do that by accident <laughs> at some point. So these wires are kind of annoying to do. <clears throat> I'll probably leave them till the end, <laughs> to be honest. Let's try and get all this crazy machinery done first. It's the most mm, time consuming part. kind of looks like. So I'm just gonna try and get the main outlines done.
does take a long time. <laughs> I want to try and get faster though. Maybe by doing these streams I can get faster and actually time myself a bit better. Some more people in the chat. Um, Beyond Time says, I can't stay long, but I wanted to pop in and show my support. Well, thank you. It's really nice of you. Uh, Beshkek Art says, What pro artist on YouTube? Oh my god. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know if I call myself a pro, but I mean, I'd like to be. I guess I am I'm the freelance. metal things look a bit more shapely and not just so <laughs> like they have hard edges rather than soft organic it's the hardest thing about drawing machinery and stuff is actually making it look solid Beyond Time says, just subbed, looks amazing. Oh, thank you so much. That's really nice of you. Thanks for subscribing too. Beshkek Art says, no, you pro. <laughs> thank you. Trying to get these like metal pieces to look right is really hard. I'm probably gonna have to like tweak them a lot. But for now I just wanna get the kind of overall line work done and then I can go back in and just kind of add to it and make things like some lines look thicker, some lines look sh more straight instead of like curved. process. Shortwire says, so much details. Yeah, I like details. Um, Beshkek Art says, I have 2am, goodbye. Okay, cool, thank you for stopping in. I hope I uh, see you again.
So yeah, my problem that I talked about on the stream on Friday when I was doing the sketch for this is like I always try to add the details a bit too early, I think, because yeah, I, I don't know, I get sucked in to one piece of the image, especially working digitally because you're sort of zoomed in, like literally zoomed in to one piece of the image, so you want to just go in there and add all these details, which is fine, but I think to make the overall image like look strong, it's kind of better to try and get the main lines done first, so you know that the thickness of those and everything is like good. And then you can go in with details later. So I'm gonna try and try and do that. Also speeds things up to be honest. Like definitely makes things faster than just trying to go straight into the details like right away. King's really just like making a whole new image as well. Like it's just so different from the sketch. Kind of lose the original lines and I don't know feeling of the sketch. Trying to like do it exactly over it is kind of difficult sometimes. Posto says it's okay, you will have a reborn image that will be even stronger. Yeah, I mean that that can happen. There are sometimes though I like the sketch kind of more than the inks and like but I can't use it for a lot of work because it's a bit too messy, but I still prefer how it looks because it's like 
it feels like there's just this image emerging from like a bunch of messy lines. So I don't know, maybe at some point I'll try and do more with the sketch, like just refine the sketch as much as possible and then just colour that, because a lot of people do that and it looks nice. Like they just paint over a sketch and it can actually look better. But I think for comic art and like this kind of stuff, inks are the best way to go about it. But when you're doing like concept art and things, I think you can just work from a sketch and like paint over it and it look, can look really good and really organic. Try not to be too perfect with my inks, because sometimes messy inks can look nice. Fires, um, they're annoying. <laughs> I never know what type of brush width to use on them. I should probably finish these ones up here before I move on to the others.
what this looks like when I zoom out a bit. So yeah, I kind of jumped around a little bit there from different parts of the image. <laughs> Happens a lot. And I'm trying to keep zoomed out a little bit more because I'm realizing that some of these li line thicknesses are a bit too thin, so when you zoom out it's like it gets lost. It's always kind of a learning curve at the beginning of inking something to see how much detail you can get away with putting in. Or maybe I overthink it, I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh... it can be difficult to get right sometimes. Emmett Laris he is in the chat. Hey Emmett. I'm doing well, man. Pretty good. Um, he says amazing Android, thank you. Yeah, it's a it's an album cover. It's gonna be an album cover <laughs> for a synthwave artist. So I'm gonna try and get it done over the next day or two. Hope you're doing well as well. Emmett says, I have a new portrait coming in December. Oh, that's cool. I look forward to seeing that. Emmett does really awesome paintings. Traditional paintings. <laughs> I th do you use oils? Is it oil paintings that you do? They're really cool anyway. You should check out his, his Instagram.
Emmett says I saw your new cat. Yeah, he's he's awesome. He's really fun. He's about four months old, we think. We're not sure because I thought he was two months when we got him. Then the vet said he was too small to be two months, but I think he's just a bit malnourished or something, so I think he's about four months now. No, oh, Emmett says he does oil and pastels. I'm trying to figure out a good primer for pastels now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've only used oil paints like once or twice before. Um, it's really nice because I used to use acrylics a lot just from, I don't know, I guess habit from using them in school and just sort of thought like, oh yeah, if I want to do a painting I have to use acrylics or watercolour and didn't really know what oils were like but then I used them and they were really nice. I like that they, you know, you can, because they take so long to dry it's just so nice to blend them and stuff. Geiger made his pets into cyborg paintings. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I really like Geiger, but I didn't know he used his pets as reference. I should do that. I was thinking of drawing our cat, actually, because he has, like, cool markings and stuff. Try to, like, represent his little personality in a piece of art would be cool. Maybe do, like, a comic about a character that has a pet cat or something. Emmett says, yeah, they're easier to use than acrylics because of the slow drying time, but they do take a long time. Yeah, I remember the couple of paintings I did, like, took forever to dry, which it w was kind of annoying a little bit, but it was definitely worth it because I had to repaint a lot of the parts, <laughs> so it was a lot easier to do that. This, Emmett says the cyborg cats are very funny. They're just like the alien paintings, but with cats. Well, I, I'm. I wonder if I've actually seen these. I'm just gonna quickly look at this. Look this up because I don't know if I've seen these, and I want to see them. <laughs> so H.R. Geiger. Cats. Oh my. <laughs> Okay, that is pretty funny. I'll just bring one of these in so you... Let's see. <laughs> that... Yeah. Cats. That's pretty crazy. It's cool. I like it. Yeah, Geiger is awesome. Like, I don't even know how he made those paintings, but <laughs> they're friggin' cool.
So yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting doing this on stream actually because like I know I'm undoing and redrawing a lot anyway but I'd probably be doing that even more if I knew that if I didn't know people were looking <laughs> at what I'm doing. I hope I can get quicker by doing this because I do tend to like redo things a bit too much sometimes which can just take up like too much time. Emmett says you could put a cat in your comic, like a cameo appearance. Yeah, I might do that. Like, just have a little cat in the background, a little robot cat or something, hanging out with the hackers. Thing is, like, I haven't drawn animals that much, and it's, it's quite difficult to do good animal designs. Oh, I just heard the cat meowing, actually. I'm just gonna check on my cat. <laughs> Okay. Emmett says it's easier to talk about techniques in a stream. Trying to teach to a blank camera is really hard, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I've never really done either before. Have you done, have you done teaching like online before then? Yeah, I'd say that would be really difficult. fun actually like talking about what I'm doing I mean it's interesting and I actually watched over my f other stream that I did on Friday and just watched myself drawing which was I've never done that before and it was interesting because like I could see myself like saying that I need to stop adding detail and then I would suddenly just start adding detail again <laughs> so that was quite interesting to like see that in real time. Emmett says, I tried doing some tutorials on my own. It was really very artificial. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never tried anything like that before, really, so I wouldn't even know like how to go about doing that. So I think I'm going to thicken some of these lines up now. Just realizing they're a bit thin. These wires. listening to Jim TV anymore so I'm just gonna go back to Jim TV because that's what I'm like I have on my corner no that's 
it's the same one. This one will do. So Emmett says, are you looking forward to the new cyberpunk game? I feel cyberpunk should look a bit more 1980s. <clears throat> when I look at the new cyberpunk game, I think it should look more like 08808. Yeah, I mean, to me, I mean, because I'm not really a gamer. I mean, I play games occasionally and I like them a lot, but I'm not like a regular gamer. So because I only play them very occasionally and I play older games a lot. It's like I look at new games and I'm kind of like not used to the style of them and the sort of really really sort of almost hyper realistic graphics. So when I look at Cyberpunk, the new Cyberpunk game, it's like it just kind of feels like a modern game with Cyberpunk packaging because obviously it's working on the new game engines or whatever. Um, I mean, it looks cool, but, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to like judge it too much until I actually play it, and I probably will enjoy it, but yeah, I, I would prefer a kind of more darker atmosphere. Like, it kind of just reminds me of those like cyberpunk, uh, what will I call them, those like pieces of artwork that you find, on, like the cyberpunk artwork you get online, that does look cool, but it's like a lot of the artists just all have the same style like you couldn't really tell the artists apart when you look at it i don't know maybe i fall into that category as well because i'm just drawing the same kind of stuff as all the other cyberpunk artists but it kind of has that feeling a little bit to me but yeah i mean i'll judge it when i play it Uh, Vosto says the cyberpunk game is showing modern cyberpunk, not retro. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cool. I think a lot of people are complaining about that game already for lots of different reasons. Like, people who think it's not cyberpunk enough in terms of, like, the social message and stuff. But... Is it's based on that tabletop RPG, right? So that's like a pretty old game, I thought. So I don't know. I, I don't even really know the lore behind it and or anything. So yeah, I just want to play it and see what I think of it. Also said. Cyberpunk 2077 will probably have cyber trap music in the cars and not what we imagine. <laughs> what is cyber trap? Is that actually a thing? I'm getting distracted and this wire is not happening. Cyber mumble rap? Oh my god, don't even like say that, man. Oh, 
these wires are just going everywhere. Emmett says the tabletop game is much more 80s. It personified how cyberpunk would look. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, I've only seen some of the artwork from it um, and read a little bit of the lore. And I follow this girl on YouTube um, who talks about the lore a lot, but I actually haven't watched many of her videos. It seems like a lot to get into. But I really always wanted to play that Shadowrun game. It looks cool. Yeah, Judge Dredd um, comics were pretty cool. I had some old copies of uh, 2000 AD. <laughs> some of the artwork in that's really cool. Just seems like a whole different time back then. That I try to keep alive. Maybe it's futile. <laughs> Like the cyberpunk world that was imagined in the 80s like hasn't really like visually I guess aesthetically it's not really like that so I wonder sometimes if like there's any point in trying to keep that alive the only reason I'm keeping it alive is for myself and other people that are my age that like that, that stuff <laughs> So Emmett and Foster were just talking about Judge Dredd. Um, Emmett said, Stallone movie is not very true to the comics. In the comics, Dredd is a fascist. And Vostu said, I like the aesthetics and badassery. I don't read much, I am dumb. <laughs> yes, uh, that's not very nice about yourself. <laughs> I think you just don't like reading. Some of you're dumb. You have attention problems. <laughs> I'm similar sometimes. I don't have time to read books, usually. Emmett says there aren't a lot of good cyberpunk novels. Yeah, it's, there's a handful of really, like, the sort of popular ones like William Gibson's novels and stuff. I bought a bunch of solar punk fiction recently because I was thinking that my next comic might be that kind of genre, that kind of aesthetic. Like I kind of want to not do a dystopian thing, but when I started writing ideas for it, it became dystopian really quickly. <laughs> it's like I can't get away from that.
wires. Why are you so annoying to draw? So Emmett said, are you doing the colors different this time? Um, I'm not 100% sure about the colors yet. Um, this is a, so this is a commission for someone and they wanted specific, well not specific, but they gave me a few like um, reference images for colors to use. So they want it to be like quite dark, like, um, and also cold colors. So I'm thinking of maybe doing like bluish background colors. Maybe everything in like blue, kind of like turquoisey blue, like very desaturated. And then possibly have like purple or red lights happening. Like maybe in her eyes can be some red or purple. Just to kind of contrast the blue. Uh, but we'll see. I usually put like just sort of a. I throw colors down and then I tweak them a lot, usually. And do like play with like color overlays and stuff like that. That's the nice thing about digital is you can. You don't have to get it right the first time round. Emmett says you might need a little bit of warm colour to take the edge off the cold blues. Yeah, I was thinking that. So yeah, like maybe the red in her eyes or something. I'm just loosening up a little bit now. It takes a while sometimes. So I need to do this more often. <laughs>
so I knew it would probably go back over these eyes and do them again. It's probably why I should not start with the facial details, like wait till I've warmed up a bit and then go into the face. But I like the face, it's my favourite part. I always start there. <laughs> Which I, I think like, even when I'm sketching I always start with the head and the face, but then I watch tutorials on how to draw figures and like, you know, the whole human form and they always start with the torso and the actual pose before drawing the head. So maybe I should try that. Emmett says, yeah, if you make a mistake in oils, you have to paint, peel the paint off with the knife. Yeah. Well, I think, like, I was able to sort of paint over stuff and, like, blend it in or, like, you know, paint a layer of colour over that and then redo a bit. But I guess you can't do many times or it just gets, like, thick layers of paint. Zed Comics says this is looking sweet. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's getting there. It'll get there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking I'm realizing I should have just started at this zoom level. It's faster and easier to see like how thick the lines need to be to balance out the whole image. Like you can see at the top here everything's a bit more fine. They'll need to be thickened up a little bit.
So Vosto and Emmett are talking about potential album covers in oil paintings in the chat. I think that would be cool. Be really, that would be different anyway. That would definitely stand out. Yeah, so all these wires need to be like this kind of thickness, I think, to look to look right. I'm just obsessing over these wires now. It probably sounds a bit crazy. Just keep talking about the wires. It's like la the last stream I was just talking about the wires also. <laughs> hard to thicken them. Vostu says those lines look beautiful. Thank you. I mean it's they're starting to come together now you can kind of see like it takes some time but yeah they, they get there. There's still a lot of things that are way too thin here, so I have to thicken this up a bit. I'm gonna change the shape of her lips. Yeah, my last stream I actually didn't see of what I did. So this uh, sketch is actually a screenshot from the last stream because I, for some reason, just closed the friggin' program when the stream ended and didn't realize I didn't save until today. So it's really lucky that I streamed <laughs> doing that. It's probably just distracted from doing the stream and like making sure everything was working and stuff. Emmett says doing a comic must take so long. Yeah, it does. I mean, I don't usually do this amount of detail in like every panel. Um, but yeah, it is time consuming. But you do get fast, I mean I get a lot faster, so I haven't inked anything in about a week or a bit more, so I'm kind of slow. Like even not doing it for that long you slow down a lot, but when you're doing it every day you get way faster. And I'm also using my Huion tablet, which I'm not 100% like 
familiar with because it's still new. Um, so I'm still getting used to doing that as well, but I think I'll get even faster when I've got used to that. This track that's playing it's so nice. I think it's Deus Ex soundtrack or something, or maybe. Yeah, I think it's Deus Ex. Okay, I've been streaming for a while. How long has that been? I don't even know how to... Where does it tell me how long I've been streaming? I'm gonna finish soon, I think. I'm gonna try and get like the main shape of her done, like the outline, and just leave it at that for tonight. Emmett says, I was listening to a death metal version of YMCA. <laughs> that sounds good. Check out 10 Masked Men. They have a death metal version of Eye of the Tiger and Staying Alive. <laughs> okay, I will check that out for sure. the undo button so many times when I'm doing boobs like you just have to get the curves right man <laughs> well, not just the curves but like it's almost like multiple different curves to make the overall shape look nice and it's hard I have to be very particular <laughs>
just like forcing myself to get this overall outline. I'm gonna try and get close to finishing so that all I need to do is like add the details and the shading and stuff. Emmett says, in anime they always make the boobs really shiny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've done that myself, but it was just a fun thing. I think it's like practice in lighting and shading. <laughs> you can make it look convincing, then you've ch achieved something. Um, and Emmett also says the eyes are the most difficult thing, I think. Yeah, eyes can be hard to do. Definitely. Like to get them right on the right line here, like that. Like the perspective and everything. Yeah, it's, I'll probably go back over some of the lines up here and I'm just not happy with how I've done them because, like I say, it takes a while to warm up sometimes and I kind of don't know how thick the lines need to be until I've drawn like half the image. So I have to go back and thicken things up make them look a bit more organic. shading lines and stuff too but <clears throat> Thank you. 
Okay, Emmett, that's cool. Uh, thanks for coming to the stream and having a chat, that was cool. Hope you have a nice evening. So I think I'm going to finish off this arm outline and then end the stream because it's almost my bedtime and yeah, I want to try and finish up. Basically, these outlines on the arm should be thicker than these parts because of the perspective, because this is like closer to us. So I'm going to make them thicker.
Okay, I think I'm gonna finish up because I gotta go take care of the cat and stuff, but yeah, um, so this is as much as I got done in a few hours. I mean, it took a while to get warmed up, but hopefully it won't take too much longer to finish everything. Let's get all these little details done. And yeah, just add... Uh, yeah, just details and all the wires still need to be done. But yeah, <laughs> it shouldn't take too much more, too much longer. But yeah, that's it, guys. I'm gonna end the stream now, so... Yeah, also, if you want to back my comic book, uh, it's on Indiegogo, and you can find the link to that in the description of this video. Or you can look on my social media and my website. Um, you can find it there. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. And I will probably be back online uh, midweek to try and finish this off, maybe show some colors. And then I'll definitely be back on again on Friday night as well. So, yeah. Thanks for joining, guys. See you later.